He's gonna be camping in the Xterra tonight and I'm gonna be camping in my truck tonight. But look at that view. Yes, it's on. Okay, we're on, baby. Oh, there's a bite. Mine's on. Mine's on too. Doubled up, baby. Look at that beautiful freaking fish, dude. Check out that catfish. What a cast. Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> what is going on guys and welcome back to another fishing adventure. We're here today with Cole Thomas. <laughs> That's him. But today we're on the boat, but today we're actually doing some truck camping at the lake. I've never camped at this lake before, so I'm excited. Well, not in my new truck. So that is what we're doing tonight. But first we're gonna go on the boat, catch a bunch of fish to bring back to the camping spot. And then we're gonna do a catch and cook with the fish we catch. So we have to catch some fish. I didn't bring any food. Cole, did you bring any food? Not even a snack. Not even a snack. So, oh, there's a bite right there. As we're doing the intro, got it? Fish on, baby. During the intro, let's see what we got. This is our food that we have to survive off of. Walleye. Go, baby. <laughs> All right, throw him in the live well. If we catch bigger ones, we will throw the small ones back. But yeah, guys, this is what we're doing today. It's going to be awesome. A nice little catch and cook and camping video. So let's catch some fish. Check out that catfish. Are you freaking <laughs> So we have one dozen minnows to catch fish with. If we don't catch any fish, Cole, we starve. We die. We're gonna catch fish, <laughs> We better catch fish. At least one of us will catch some <laughs> What is that, a carp? A snake? Might be a snake. See that? Rattlesnake coming our way. Stop now. <laughs> Hold on, I got a fish. Yes, fish on. Are you on, bud? Please be on still. Oh yeah, it's on. Yes, first crappie of the day, Cole. We're eating, bud. We are eating. By the time we get to eat something. Yeah. There's a snake heading our way. We lost it. We're all gonna die. <laughs> all right. Uh, that might be a ten. We gotta measure it and make sure. It's kind of small. Oh baby, we're good. That's eleven. I got a little small, but she's a keeper. Eleven inches. And our first fish to go in the live well to cook up later. Uh, thank you, buddy. Feels good. Feels good knowing we're not gonna starve. I got, I'm getting a bite right here. Hey, we're getting bites, baby. I'm happy. Oh, that's on. It's swimming. There it is. All right, feels good. Hope it's a big old walleye. Ah, uh, small walleye. Little guy. Uh, what do you think, Cole? This guy's pretty small, but this is for survival. If it's legal, so we take we it. We can keep two under. Oh, really? Yeah. Take it. Take it? Okay. If we get one, it's if we get one bigger, we'll let it go. There you go. All right, this guy is small, but it is illegal to keep. So if we catch a big one, we'll replace it. All right, there it is. Cole's first fish. Yeah, buddy. Little guy. We gotta get some big ones. Oh, there's a bite. Alright, Cole just dumped his in the live well. I'm getting a bite right here. On. Oh, oh a little, little small mouth, man. Little guy. Dude, these guys have been... I don't know what it is with these small mouth, but they're on fire right now. But they're little though. We came out here the other night, caught like four of these. It sucked. If they were three pounds bigger, it'd be awesome, but... They're all this size. 
All right, little small mouth. Can't keep this guy. He wouldn't anyways because he's a small mouth, but I'm just saying. Too small. Oh, dude, we're going to freaking feast. You like fish, right? I'm going to move. I got some uh, spicy chicken breading as well, so we'll bread it, deep fry it. Going all out. All out is the only way to go. No sand bass yet. Three fish, no sand bass. Give it a little bit of time, we'll catch a sand bass. Hopefully, sand bass are good. Is it on? Yes, it's on. Okay, we're on, baby. Oh, decent walleye. Yes, that's an eater. Definitely an eater. Looks like we're being good after all, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yes, dude. All right, he's going straight to the live well. Let's, uh, I'm going to get rid of one of these smaller walleye since we have two in there now and a crappie. Sound good? Because, I mean, that's quite a bit of fish. All right, this guy's going back in. He's too little. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. All right, it is hot as crap. The bite has turned off. So we're going to go to Sandy Beach, go swim for a bit, cool off, and then we're going to come back to this spot and hopefully the bite is back on. Let's go swim, tuna. <laughs> See, it's a little warm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Cole, I've never beached this boat before, so this will be fun. Run it up. Beach full the, throttle. We beached the blue one a lot, but never this one. Yeah, just full send it. Just full send it? Yeah. Yep, just let it rip. What's the worst that happens? We get stuck? Get right, stuck exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're good, dude. I don't know why you're worried. All right, I just made it to Sandy Beach. We're gonna swim for a bit and cool off because it's freaking hot. It's a hot one. Look how freaking good the boat looks, beached in the water. Oh, freaking beautiful, man. She shines. Alright, we're all cooled off. Let's go fishing. We stopped in this spot here. There's always a boat right here. So we, it was open, so I took it. Before I could even get my camera on, I got a bite. I set the hook just real quick. Let's see if it's still on. I don't think it is. But I had to get my camera on before I could fish. Oh, we missed it. Cole got a bite just before me too, but he missed his. Oh, I took my minnow. You got jacked already. Got jacked. That was quick. Okay. All right. Still got three fish in the live well. So as soon as we drop down, we both got Yeah, we uh, dropped down and both lost our minnows pretty quick. So this might be a good spot. Let's hope for big fish. All right, let's catch them. Already, dude, on the drop. On the drop? No way. I didn't even get to reel it up at all. Oh, man, this is a good spot. Another walleye. Right in my mitts. <laughs> right in the pecker. <laughs> <laughs> all right, drop him in the live well. He's decent. Maybe Adam can get it. Professional over here. Probably get out with my hands, honestly. We don't call him Dadum for no reason. <laughs> That's right. Alright, heck yeah, dude. Another fish in the live well. Number four. And of course, if we catch bigger ones, we will replace the smaller ones. If your fishing spots ever turn off, take a break from it. Come back later. We'll start catching them again. I may need to be on this side of the boat, huh? There for a second, dude. I thought I just got stuck. <laughs> started running with it. The water was pretty cold, guys. We uh, we dove in and we about froze our butts off for the first few seconds. There's like spots of really cold water still, but it felt good. Got it, baby. Hey, cold on. All right, Cole's catching all the fish today, dude. I can't even catch a minnow when it's freaking alive. Well, another walleye. I will throw that one with that. Woo, look at that one. Heck yeah, we'll throw him back though. He's skinny. Yeah. Up. You still have your minnow? We barely got him. Oh, no way. By the skin. That's the skin. crazy. Look at that. Minnow's freaking out. Take it. Let me get my spoon in. Oh, it's swimming out my line, swimming. Yes. Okay, my first one in this spot. What do we got? Oh, a bigger smallmouth. Still small, but bigger than the. 
Look at the four inch guys we've been catching. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a small mouth out here in like years. Really? Yeah, they're starting to make a comeback. It's a little guy. Yeah, a little. Not, a not even a pound. Well, thank you, girl. She gone. Dude, it's been a fun day and it's like, feels like it just started. Yeah, dude. Already got a bite. Oh, it pulled it out of its mouth. It might be crappie, dude. Cole's already getting hit too on the drop. Oh, that's on, bud. There you go. All right, Cole's on. Oh my God. No way. God, these fish suck. You on? Mine's on. Mine's on too. Doubled up, baby. All right, we both got a fish. Oh, sand bass. Walleye. Sand bass and a walleye back. Heck back, yeah. Dude. Measure that guy. He might be a keeper. That couldn't have come out any better. <laughs> All right. I am a believer in this spot, which I already knew that because for there to be a boat here every single time I'm out here, it's a good spot. Hopefully, there's not a boat here when we come back because now we have to leave and go get minnows and then we can come back and try it out. But open up, dude. Little walleye. We'll let him go. Thank you, buddy. Hey, we caught nine. Nine on 12 oh, minnows. That's yeah. Even better, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Put it right on zero. Oh, yeah, it's at 12 or 11 and a half. That's a keeper, bud. Let's keep him. <laughs> yeah. So Cole has the last minnow, and then we're going to go back to the bait shop and buy another dozen because we still want to fish, of course. We are camping, but the majority of this trip is going to be fishing, of course. I mean, we're at the lake, right? Now we have to hope no boat comes to this spot when we leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just made it back to the spot. Luckily, no one took this spot. So we got some more minnows. We got two dozen more minnows. We're about to drop back down and catch some more fish. We no longer have to worry about catching fish to eat because we have enough. But we could get some bigger ones. That would be better. Already? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, Cole, God. come on, bud. It was right there, dude. Are you setting the hook pretty hard? Yeah. Set it hard. Cole's on fire. All right, I'm going to throw one on the grub and the jig because the spoon ain't doing it. Of course, as soon as I turn my camera off, I get a bite. We got it, baby. We got it. Yep. It's fine pretty hard, yeah. Oh, big walleye, dude. Bigger. Definitely bigger. Keeper. We may have to feed our neighbors today, Cole. Ow, that guy cut me so bad. <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh, look at these waves. Come by. Brace yourself, Cole. Brace yourself, bud. That's a big move, I think. Yep. Got 11-wake boats. That might freaking... Ah, it's going to swamp us. <laughs> it's going to swamp us. Uh, it, it swamped us. Swamped me off my boat. Oh, God, this guy freaking destroyed me. Definitely smaller once it came out of the water, but... This keeper says. We can keep one more small one, Cole. Right? Or how many do we have in there? Open that, please. Here we got. Yeah, that one's the same. How many, how many walleye do we have in there? Three? One, two, three, yeah. Okay, we can keep this guy. And the next ones we catch have to be over 16. Oh, he's on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Little guy. Okay, so he has to go back. Anything from now on that's a walleye has to be over 16. Yeah, buddy. Anything over 16, we keep it? Yeah, yeah. I was tying on this grub, and I was just sitting here tying and turned my GoPro off. As soon as I turned it off, that's when this pole just dips down. That's usually how it happens. Once you're not recording, your poles just take off. But I'm going to tie on a yellow grub and jig, and we'll throw this around as well, see what we can do with this. There's a bite already. And the time it took me to tie that knot on. Yes. Doesn't feel very big. Another little walleye. What the heck is this? Ooh, jumped out of my hands. All right, Cole's on. What do we got? Did he freaking destroy your minnow? That's one he's. Got you good, huh? Yeah. I got my spitting out nasty dead fish, man. Hey, I could have reused that. Nah, you don't want a dead one. Nope. Not even close. Stone back. 15 and a quarter. He's free. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, look at these fish, dude. Jeez. Oh. 
They're just they're like five feet off the bottom. We should probably reel up some. Little guy. <laughs> oh come on, I'll take it. Cole's giving me the little baby minnows. They take those small ones instant. All right, so I saw a bunch of fish five feet up. So I'm gonna reel up a little bit higher this time. It's, there it is. Yes. Oh, another smallmouth. Small I'm telling you, dude, the freaking smallmouth are popping off right now. These guys are gonna make a huge comeback next year. I, I can tell already. Oh, Cole's on. You missed yours? Dang it. Well, another smallmouth. This one's a little bit smaller than that last one I had. Dude, I might throw around the freaking chatterbait if there's bass around here. Fish? Yeah, I thought it was stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, boy. Like it was just sitting there barely bent. <laughs> and I was like, oh, we got one. Oh, no, we're stuck. And then as soon as I reeled it in. <laughs> you can throw that one back too. That's a little small. <laughs> All right. At least we're on them. I have not seen us catch one of those in a while. You suck. Hey, Cody, what's up? You catch anything? I was talking to my buddy Cody he's gonna come back over here and fish with us but Cole just caught this bluegill I've never ate bluegill before and since we we're frying up fish today I figured why not keep this guy and we'll see how bluegill tastes everyone says it tastes pretty good so I'm excited to try it there it is bigger but still not a keeper another walleye nothing too big though not even close to 16 Yes, fish. Fighting pretty hard. Another walleye. They all seem to be about this size today. Alright, so we caught quite a bit of fish. We're going to go ahead and call it on the fishing part of this video. And we're now going to go find the camping spot. Which may just be one of these spots up here with a picnic table. They said they're free, which I didn't know about. So that's pretty cool. So we'll go find the spot and then we will start cooking the fish that we just caught. Good one? Ah, it's kind of small. Yeah, he was up in the Alright, before we uh, packed up everything, Cole decided to drop back down one more time. Caught a fish. Oh, <laughs> easy release. Alright, that was the last fish of today. We're, we're going to come out here tomorrow morning and catch some more, of course, though. Alright guys, so here is our camp spot that we just picked. If you got, do you guys recognize this car? That is my old car. Cole bought that from me when I sold it. So he's gonna be camping in the Xterra tonight, and I'm gonna be camping in my truck tonight. But we got a spot, baby. Look, look at that view. That is a beautiful view right behind our camp spot. Yeah, buddy. I wish we were closer to the water so we could just go for a swim. But if we want to swim, we can just drive around and go for a swim. <laughs> Alright, check out these beautiful walleye filet. Oh yeah. Cutting the bones out. They're ready to go. One to go, then we go cook them up. All right, so we just made it back to the camping spot, went to my house to clean the fish, but check out this view. Freaking beautiful, mate. Sun's already down, it's getting dark, but 
We're gonna cook the fish right here in the back of the truck. But once we wake up in the morning, we'll open these doors up and have an awesome view of the lake. All right, let's start cooking, boys. We're actually really hungry. We've been fishing all day, having ate, so. All right, so we got a few ingredients here. We got some seasoned crispy chicken fry, chicken batter mix. This is my favorite, the spicy recipe. Also got some vegetable oil. Let's go ahead and pour this in the pan. We're just deep frying and battering up some fresh caught fish. I took the boat home, got it on the charger. All the batteries are charging. So that will be ready for us first thing in the morning. You find them. Yeah, booty. Pretty good, bud. Here is all our fish we got. Freaking stack. We got quite a bit of fillets, which is good. All right, there's the batter. Now we need some slap your mama to add to that, make it even more spicier. My favorite seasoning ever. And thin coating. First batch of fish going in. Yeah, that batter definitely isn't sticking. I'm not happy about that. How many things you can eat, dude? Fish is cooking. Ow. Man, it smells good. God, I just dropped the hot oil on my toe. And Adam's so smart, he just burned his foot. <laughs> Like I said, the breading didn't stick very well, but it'll be okay. It has a little bit of breading on there. I didn't bring any eggs or anything to double dip it, make it thick like I would like to, but I actually want to try a watery paste batter with uh, this stuff. Haven't tried that yet. That'd be super thick. I got water. <laughs> I got water. <laughs> oh, is that your water right there? Let's pour some water in that uh, Ziploc bag. Now, there's the first batch. We're gonna try to add water, make it a watery paste, and then batter the fish with that. Dude, that's gonna smell so good. I love this seasoning. I just brush open into my my bed. <laughs> Not my problem. <laughs> oh yeah. Is that good? That'll work perfect, dude. We'll just try this. Oh, this smell would have been perfect. That's that bluegill. Oh, yeah, oh baby this is the way to go boys that's thick Damn, I'm good. so we added some water to this batter we're gonna try it like this and see how this cooks super thick sticky batter okay. usually when I cook this at the house we have eggs we have the seasoning and we double dip it and it comes out pretty thick but came out pretty weak with no eggs or nothing like that so we're gonna try this on the fly see if it works Oh, that's going to be golden. Yes. Okay, we might just have to do that for everyone. Good thinking, Adam. Good mixing, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a lot messier, but probably a lot more tasty. Is she sizzling? We'll throw that around for a bit, make sure it's all cooked evenly. Oh my God. Why don't you do something, Cole? Of course it's that wet batter looks so much better than the dry batter. It really does, dude. It's going to be amazing. We add more water to this real quick? That okay, thanks. <laughs> I was getting it. I'm going to wait for two seconds. Add more powder. I was about to tell you that. Before you added water, like it's done. It don't matter what order, as long as it's the right ratio. You put the powder first. Yes. When Devin gets here, I'm gonna have to go and take care of some stuff at the house. No worries, I'll fish with Devin. <laughs> <laughs> the disrespect. Okay, okay, we'll try that. What? Why don't you dump that fish in there? <laughs> Why don't you get your hands dirty for once, dude? My hands are dirty every day I wake up. Gross. Maybe I should remember to take a shower when I get home. Yeah, you should do that. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and bust this guy open, break oh, a piece yeah. off, and try it. If it's gross, we just run the entire batter of fish we just caught. Too late now. Got to see you through, my boy. Dude, it's freaking amazing. Ah, so good. 
It's hot though. Holy crap. But it's amazing. Alright. Spicy hot or just heat hot? Temperature hot. That's good though. Yeah, freaking buddy, dude. That saved the day. Just do, just add a little bit of water to your powder. Make a wet batter. Fire. It's freaking good. The wet batter definitely made everything so much better. You haven't even tried the non battered one. Bro, I didn't look at it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try. This is actually the bluegill. I want to try this. Never tried bluegill before. Okay, that's good too. The texture of the bluegill is fucking awesome. Yeah, the bluegill is very different, but very good. Wow. It'd be awesome if we could see this view out here. Dude, this is kind of scary because if we walk 20 feet out here, we're falling off a huge cliff. <laughs> Can't even see it. Just don't walk that way, Cole, okay? Actually, you walk that way. Probably be good for you. <laughs> Bro, this is amazing, dude. I'm gonna keep doing this wet better. A little messy, but so much better than eggs. Eggs are way, 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 way more messier. Is that no. no. Last batch for the night going in. We put the rest of it on ice. Beautiful freaking fish, dude. All right, we just finished cooking the fish. It is absolutely amazing. We're gonna eat and then probably hit the hay. We're pretty tired. We've been at it all day fishing. I'm probably gonna keep doing this water paste mixture with the uh, batter because it's pretty dang good. Mm. Sucks we can't see a view, but we'll see it in the morning. Who vacuums at 10.30 at night? These campers have no respect. Try it. Let me know how it is in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here is, of course, my truck. My camping setup. Got the laptop here. Gonna get a little bit of work done before I pass out. And then here's Cole's Xterra. Cole doesn't have his all built out yet, but he's got a little pad laid down. Yeah, buddy. All right, so we're in the truck. I'm getting a little bit of work done, getting all these clips from today imported into my computer, but we're in the truck. This is my first time camping in the truck camper in summer. The uh, blanket I have here is a zero degree blanket. Whenever I made this truck, it was in the winter time, so it was cold. Now it is hot. Now I have this little fan here, which I have turned off right now because it's loud, but this guy is how I survive in the summer, but this is the first time doing it, so we're just testing it out really, but working pretty good so far. I'm gonna get some editing done and then go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Hi.